Okay, let's take a look at another worked answer. This time we're looking at the Friendly Foods case study and we're looking at a six mark question on product ranges. Don't forget to download the Friendly Foods case study from the file section of this Grey Booster course and uh, familiarise yourself with the case study. It's about a meal delivery service, uh, the sale of and delivery of frozen ready meals, uh, targeting older people in their homes. And we're given some information about the business and in particular we're told that the business has two product ranges, budget and premium. And in one of the tables, or the table in the case study, we're given some information about those ranges in terms of the average selling price, how many... Uh, meals in each range they sell each year and also some information about price elasticity of demand and average order value uh, later on in the case study we're also given some more information about how those meals are delivered uh, in terms of the extended marketing mix in particular looking at the people and the process part of the business anyway this six mark question uh, asks us to consider uh, one aspect of that case study there it is on the screen Analyze the value to Friendly Foods competitiveness of having more than one product range. Now, as always, with these questions, we try to unpick the demands of the question so that we give the examiner a response that meets the demands of the question. So you might want to pause the video now, maybe for 30 seconds or a minute, and have a think, what's this question about? At the start point, what do we need to focus on? Where do our arguments or arguments need to get to? And um, how many points do we need to get six marks? But also, what do we need to focus on in terms of the question? So when you're ready, uh, restart the video and I'll take you through unpicking the demands. And then we'll also have a look at a suggested answer. So I think this question is uh, relatively straightforward. It should be, shouldn't it, for six marks? It's about product ranges or the product range, uh, product ranges of the business. And in particular, how they impact the competitiveness of the business. We're asked to analyze the value of having more than one product range. Analyze the value is singular. So therefore, we only need one point, which is typical in a six mark question. And in terms of the wording we need to focus on, it's that value of having more than one range. That's the key. That's what the response needs to focus on. The value in terms of the competitiveness of the business. That's where our arguments need to get to of having more than one product range. So again, you might want to pause the video and have a go at writing a, a paragraph for that, maybe using the PCAN approach and um, compare your paragraph, your argument with the one that I'm going to show you on the screen. Lots of different ways of answering this. Don't forget the key is selectivity. Pick one point and develop it in context. And when you're ready, let's have a look at a suggested walkthrough answer that would certainly meet the demands of the question. Well, don't forget, we encourage you to state your point in the first sentence up to the first full stop. So don't include any application in your first point um, because that becomes the point. Application needs to follow uh, supporting and seasoning your analysis. So in this case, our point that we're going to try to argue for this is that having more than one range enables friendly foods to appeal to a wider potential customer base by offering more choice at different prices. So that's what we want to try to explain uh, to the examiner. Why does that make Friendly Foods more competitive? And here is a suggested response. It's perhaps a few too many words that you need for six marks. We only needed, only needed one point there, so we're looking at about four to five minutes worth of, of writing. So let's just read through it, see what you think. Well, we've started with our point. That's the first full stop, and of course that's part of the paragraph. Friendly Foods uses demographic segmentation to position and target its products. And in the 70 plus age segment, older people will have varied disposable incomes. Some pensioners may be able to afford premium meals with more expensive ingredients such as lamb and leek pie. We'll come back to that in a second. Therefore, the premium range makes Friendly Foods competitive with such customers even if they just buy a luxury meal as an occasional treat. However, many other potential customers would also will be more budget conscious and they may just require or need a regular supply of tasty warm meals at an affordable price. And the budget range is the one that serves these customers. And the budget range is clearly very popular. It outsells premium by eight to one. So we pick that up from the table. Consequently, with more than one range or more than one product range, friendly foods should be more competitive 
because it can appeal to more old people within the target demographic segment and reduce the risk that customers buy meals from competitors, such as low-cost supermarkets. There we go. I think probably that last sentence is, is not a repeat, but it's just developing the analysis a bit further. You could probably get away with that, still get five or six marks uh, for that question. But I wanted to add it in just to help show you the, the, the importance of developing your point. And also, as, as I've highlighted in red here, make sure that your application is seasoned, is scattered into your responses. Ideally, we're looking for at least two pieces of application in each point. And in this case, we've got three or four, haven't we? So we've referred, used the case study to explain the situation, the context, which is that we're targeting the 70 plus age segment using demographic segmentation. We've used a bit of such as seasoning. So we've talked about expensive ingredients. That's actually application, such as lamb and leek pie. I've no idea where I got lamb and leek pie from, but anyway, it came to mind whilst I was writing the answer. It sounded premium to me. Sounds quite nice. Uh, we talk about an occasional treat. It sounds like that's ap applying to the case study. Tasty warm meals. And also we've manipulated the data in the case study. So we were told that the budget range sells 800,000 meals a year and the premium range sells 100,000 meals a year. So we've manipulated the data to say that's a ratio of eight to one budget. They sell eight times as many meals as they do premium. So that's a nice piece of application. Anyway, hopefully that's useful. That's an example of a one point argument for a six marker. If you get one of those, hopefully your answer is suitably relevant to the question. And also you've had a chance to include some good application as well. Cheers.